We gather this morning in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Welcome back once again, and today we're praying the memorial of St. Patrick, who reminds us to continue our faith, even in trial. My friends, let us call to mind our sins and ask God to help us, guide us, and strengthen us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick, to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, for your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make your covenant void. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven, or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, no prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence this day, today, as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response today, remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God. You are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Glory and praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. 
Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of that debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him of the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him much, a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put into prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he could pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your hearts. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel reminds us tremendously of God's great mercy and love for each of us. But when that mercy is given, it comes with it a huge responsibility, a responsibility to pass that mercy, forgiveness, and love to everyone that we meet. Not an easy task, my friends, but it is a task that the Lord gives us because each time we come to reconciliation, He offers us full pardon. St. Patrick reminds us of that today with his uh, Memorial Day and one of his prayers that is a favorite of a lot of people is the breastplate prayer. And I have written down uh, one part of that prayer which I think works well for us in our current situation. The prayer goes like this. Christ be with me. Christ within me. Christ behind me. Christ before me. Christ beside me. Christ to win me. Christ to comfort and restore me. Christ beneath me. Christ above me. Christ in quiet. Christ in danger. Christ in all hearts of all that love me. Christ in the mouth of a friend and spirit. Let us remember during this time, again, of God's great mercy and love and His closeness to us. He has not abandoned us, but yet weeps with us, He cries with us, He laughs with us, and mourns with us, and is with us each and every day. My brothers and sisters, let us now join together, trusting in God's merciful love, as we bring our prayers and petitions for this day. For the leaders of the church, may God's grace enable them in their ministry of God's mercy and forgiveness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges and others in positions of authority, may the Holy Spirit guide them in wisdom as they balance forgiveness, mercy, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need of forgiveness and those who need to forgive others, may the Lord strengthen them in the work of love to which they are called. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here with us today, may the Lord help us grow in our understanding of His merciful love and transform us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died or those who may die today, May they rest in the peace of God's perfect love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass, we're praying for a St. Monica intention for Alan Newton. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, let my friends, let us add our own prayers we brought to Mass today from our hearts. We offer these prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, we trust your love and seek your strength in all we do. We bring all these prayers before you through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, for the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we be accepted by you, Lord, and may your sacrifice and your simplicity be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Today, once again, we'll pray Eucharistic prayer number two. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may bear to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. So with your spirit and with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Let us bow down for the blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them, that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.